right, guys, this video is for our two-year-old's room for the first week of March, March 7th. And this week, our story is all about the light of the world. When you love like Jesus, you will be a light. And in a little while, I'll show you the memory verse um, with the motions, but it's love each other as I have loved you, John 15, 12. And our key question for this month is who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. So jumping into this week's activities, the first activity is you've got all these little battery operated tea light candles. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn each light on and just place it around the room. So after you, the kids have been playing for the first 10 minutes of service, have them clean up their toys, maybe have them all sit in a circle in the middle of the room and then start lighting these candles. And maybe if it's light enough, if you have the door going in the hallway open, you can turn off the light in the room. Maybe if the TV's on, that will give us light too and just say, oh my goodness, or you can leave the lights on. Our room is so bright today. There are so many lights in here. Let's go on a light hunt and you guys find as many lights as you can and bring them to me. Oh, okay, so I lied. Maybe put these around the room while the kids are playing and then see if they can point them out and show them to you. I didn't understand that before I started. So see if they can find the lights that are around the room. And then just say, great job, wow, look at all those lights you guys found. Well, today we're gonna hear a Bible story about a special light and how it shines. So then um, you may be able to head out to large group then. If you still have time before large group, there's another activity called Sticky Heart. And what I thought you could do is have all the kids kind of sit in a circle right here and write their names on this chart paper and then call them up and have them put a sticker next to their name and say, who loves you? Jesus loves you. Or is that, I can't remember if that's the question for this week, but ask them the question and have them repeat it with the sticker by their heart. So I thought that's what we would do for the sticky heart activity. It's a little different than what is in the folder, but you can ask them, oh, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus, Katie can love like Jesus, and then head out to large group. When you get back from large group, you're gonna practice the memory verse with motion. So it's love each other, hug yourself, as I, point up, have loved you. Point thumbs to your chest, because it's as Jesus has loved us. John 15, 12. So then just you're gonna repeat that a few times all together. Then you're gonna do an activity called I can shine. And what you're gonna do is you are going to give kids these little finger puppets that say, I can love like Jesus with a little light bulb. So they're all in here in this bag. And you're gonna help them tape it together. Um, maybe if you have one of your teens during the um, video, do, while you guys are out at large group, the teens can start taping them together so that you don't have to do that while the kids are in here. And you're gonna give each one of them a finger puppet. Oh, it says you can have them color it. So you can have them color it and then tape it together while they're coloring it. And then talk about how when we love like Jesus, we let our light shine. So say today we're gonna make a light bulb finger puppet just like this one because when we love like Jesus, we let our light shine. So first you guys are gonna color your light bulbs. And after you're done coloring, you can raise your hand and I'm gonna come around and I'll tape it so that it fits around your finger. And then just reminding them as they're coloring, when we love like Jesus, we let our light shine. So every time I say, let your light shine, I want you to hold up your puppet finger like this. Okay, so then after they have them all done, say, let your light shine and show them, let your light shine. And then you're gonna make a little um, craft called Heart in the Light. So you have these um, little flames that they can color in and then you can give them a heart sticker to put in the middle of it. And then they're gonna put their little label that says, I can love like Jesus on their cupcake holder. And then I just cut a little teeny tiny slip at the top to stick their, um, and I just put a piece of tape, I just roll the piece of tape to stick their um, flame to, the, to their popsicle stick, and then shove the popsicle stick through, and the whole point is they're supposed to be able to move it up and down in their cupcake cup. So that's how you're gonna make them. And then you're just gonna say, so what does this look like to you? And you're gonna hold up the example and say, it looks like a flame on a candle. Well, you guys are gonna put a heart sticker on your flame and hearts mean love. And then we're gonna put them on a craft stick. And when you love like Jesus, your light shines so you can raise your flame up in the air. But when we don't love others, our flame is hidden. So then you're gonna, they're gonna pull it down. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go like this, hold on, sorry. I think I have this backwards. Sorry, I have to set you down for a second. I did have it backwards. Clearly, I'm super prepared. Okay, so when it's hidden, it's like this. So their cupcake thing is pointing up. And then when your light shines, whoop, it comes down and there it is. 
I thought cupcake holders were easier than cups to poke a hole through, so that's why we're doing cupcake holders. So then just say, wow, show me what your light looks like when you love others like Jesus. <gasps> Look at all those lights shine bright, friends. Remember, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. And then that is it. So your computer should be up and running for you guys to re-watch the Ollie video or listen to some songs. Last week I had to use the mouse. Um, I told Jerry about it, so hopefully he'll get your iPad fixed. And that's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for serving. Brooke is going to join Danielle for first service. Um, and I can't remember who is second service, but I know we have at least two adults in here so that hopefully we can um, not have to close this room down early. So that's it, guys. Love you all so much. Thank you for serving and see you on Sunday.